Welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. Um, last time around we pushed forwards and retook that part of Italy that we lost earlier. Uh, now we are faced with the last French army that has actually incurred, or has moved into incurred, I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, has moved into Italy, or basically if you remember it's the one that was hiding down below the mountains here. And I had suspected that they were gonna go like like the other armies did and bypass my army at the bridge, but he actually wait, went straight for it. Um, now, to say that this is the only one currently in Italy is not exactly correct because we've got a small one down below, and then there is a full stack on the way just passing the border. I can't exactly remember if it did pass the border. Uh, into um, what is today Italy or not. However, this is the main threat since I believe the other one is more of a hodgepodge uh, with quite a low star general. But yeah, here we go. It's a bridge battle or a, a cross crossing battle once again. Should be pretty easy to defeat the AI there, especially since I've got uh, four 12 pounder artilleries. Um, for the true in troop wise, I don't have that great uh, troops. I do have some grenadiers and uh, I mean the standard infantry. We've got one um, veteran unit and we got one Hungarian. For the cavalry, we have a, um, the Kaiser Franz Karaziers, which are good. And we also got the newly recruited. Austrian lances. So that'll hopefully be enough to counter the enemy. As we can see, the enemy army, this is the enemy army that I've feared because they've got an old guard uh, cannon, they got two old guard units, they've got the um, guard marines, they've got grenadiers, and so forth. A lot of really good units, as you can see all throughout the army, and a lot of veteran cavalry units. So we have Chasseur à Cheval de la Garde, so Guard Chasseur à Cheval, then we have Carabiniers, which actually, I believe, is, if you count out the score, better than my Carabiniers. And uh, then we have the Mamluks, which are also pretty good. Um, so it might be an interesting fight. Uh, most likely I'll be able to bottleneck them at the crossing point and then just spray canister upon them until they leave um, and then we'll just chase them down with cavalry but we'll see what will happen so without further ado let's go ahead and play this battle shall we to save time I've already started the battle and conducted a little bit of an artillery barrage um, this is probably the most cannons I've ever had gathered in one place ready to bombard an oncoming enemy and as the enemy has finally decided to uh, move against us I decided you know what it's probably high time to actually start the commentary of this battle so let's go ahead and take a look at what they're sending at us so they're sending just one small company of sappers which at this point being uh, under fire from the artillery has decided you know what it probably wasn't that good of an idea to send a small sapper company to cross the river first. So they have uh, I bolstered them with some hussars, which also has, seem to have trouble actually deciding whether or not they're actually going to cross. Uh, we do have infantry on the way. Looks like we got some voltageers ready to cross as well. Uh, the bridge on this map is situated right on the corner here. No one, none of the French units seems to be going here. But since there is uh, quite a bit of, um, uh, what's it called, fog of war, uh, you never know. So we're going to place just two units. And also, I didn't really find a place to place them over by the river crossing. Now, there were quite a bit of artillery on the enemy side as well, weren't there? So they do have one artillery piece that they sent up in town and the other one over there. Um, as per usual, the AI 
hasn't really selected a great spot for their artillery. I think this piece might actually be able to fire. And the old guard piece... Oh, it is actually firing, and it was firing earlier as well. Um, but as you can see, it's a very awkward positioning of it. Um, however, this is... You shouldn't underestimate this unit. Because it has the highest accuracy and so forth of any 12 pound a piece. So, definitely not underestimate those guys. But now they seem to be actually trying to cross the river in force. We've got some Hussars, we've got the um, Chasseur Sa Cheval, we've got some Voltageers, and then onwards there's a lot of different infantry units coming on. Um, and soon, I believe, my infantry will open fire. So we have an enemy horse trying to cross through. It really it looks as, as though these two men actually captured the horse. Um, and they're about to open fire towards the men crossing the river. The sappers have been under such heavy cannon fire that they've lost almost half the unit just due to cannon fire uh, just bouncing straight through them. I don't think these horse, uh, these horse troops are going to have other horse troops. That's an interesting way of putting it. Uh, switch to canister midway through the load. It just changes the load and so now they're spraying um, the uh, troops crossing the river with canister. And I think this is basically what the battle is going to be like. The enemy is going to try to, as much as possible, just trying to force their way, as the AI usually does. And given that they have to force their way through two Grenadier regiments, aided by an additional um, four line regiments, and then four batteries, totaling eight 12 pounder cannons loaded with canister isn't really um, you know what now when I think about it I should have my horse my light horse units moving around ready to strike from the back we're not gonna be able to send all of these guys over there anyway so right now they're just taking Sir. Sir. fire Our general is under attack. this unit has almost lost uh, 10 men it actually lost more than 10 men just from the residual fire from the enemy so what we're gonna have is those two trying to cross over there we're gonna set this one up to go down here heavy cavalry very unlikely that they will be used but we'll have them over here just in case the enemy is actually able somehow to break through and just is a constant fire of canister and then as the enemy progress further inland, it's a massive amount of uh, musket fire coming down towards them as well. And they're gonna send their... France is gonna send their best units down here. And as we can see, it's quite a mess as the cavalry tries to move back. And now there's just an absolute mess of infantry push pushing across. I'm wondering if it would be better at this point to actually switch back to round shot and have round shot bounce through here. Now it's obviously going to be soaked up by the river, but I think that just having it bounce through is probably going to be more effective uh, at the current range compared to uh, letting them fire canister. And especially since we've got uh, a lot of units all the way back here. I don't want to go closer because that's the FPS is already bad. Um, so hopefully as they come across here one by one, uh, we can go a bit closer and take a look. So here we've got the marine guards. Now all of these units are such elite units that they could actually make a stand even with all the fire that they're facing right now. So they're, they're not completely breaking here at, uh, as, uh, as one would thought, or at least uh, one would uh, see with the other units. Here the uh, guard marines are actually kind of breaking, but they 
sort of rally. They went down to red, but now they're orange. And they're actually able to advance quite a bit into our fire. Now they're actually about to break. The marine guards. Oh, the, no, they kind of rallied again. Okay, so the enemy is gone close enough, so I think we're going to switch to cannons and we're going to barrage is soon to be on. them. And my cannon's going to get a lot of chevrons here. Oh shit, I got getting a bit too close. And they're all still green. Got a nice cannons to hit over there. They're actually going to reach my cannons here. These cannons are however, not going to be affected, but these two are. I'm going to tell these two to retreat. And unfortunately you got to these cannons as well. I'm going to take all the cannons, get them to retreat. Our men are running for Oh, they actually broke this unit. So the French grenadiers were able to get through. But they just were able to just get to the artillery position. And then they were forced back. I'm gonna... You know what? We do have cavalry stationed here. So it's up to the Lancers once these guys pass. So we actually have an open way of moving through. Because right now we're just gonna ride straight into these guys. Back on your artillery pieces. And if we could get canister, that would be nice. Oh, it's old guard charging now. You know what? Our men are running. Clearly, this. Oh shit! They broke this side. But the, I, I want the infantry to clear off before. Uh... Okay, my cannons. Some of them are even retreating. I'm gonna have to order these guys to open fire. So the enemy actually managed to force their way through here. Which I'm quite surprised though. Okay, Hazars and I mean Lances move to the side. You've kind of gone open uh, striking field, so let's go ahead and charge. Bastards were able to get through. But here comes the lances. The old guard is almost breaking my center. I need to rally. Jesus Christ. We're gonna have to send in the cuirassiers as well. Cannon crews have rallied. However, Our I can't. Oh, yeah, the center is crap. Okay, the center is breaking. Or has broken. It has is not breaking. It has broken. My cavalry is moving in to stop them. Right. I'm gonna need all of this part of the army to come back. This is a disaster. I thought this was an open and shut deal. It's going to be down to the cavalry Our men are running, sir. and the staunch defense of my grenadiers. So the lances are falling back. The cuirassier is still fighting against the old guard. My general is close by to support. Um, we do have some regiments rallying, coming back. So it's all, it's all really down to the heroic effort of uh, these guys holding the left flank. I really want to re-man the artillery. Right, the cuirassiers have been able to break the old guard chasseurs and they're now going to push into the carabiniers and the three artillery pieces I have left need to get up there and we'll see if you can reman the cannons. Right, I want you, you know what, charge that bloody square. 
and see if you can go through there. The general is under attack by Carbiniers. Sir, your general God has been damn killed. it. This is a black day. This could be a, a real turning point in the battle. The fact that the general was killed. Because now my troops are going to lose a massive amount of morale. I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to uh, come back from that. Lancers. I mean, most of my units have rallied at this point. I don't think the center is coming back. My Karaziers are stuck on that square. They're not going to be able to get through there. So we're going to pull them back. The I'm going to get my cannon crew must rest a while. to get back on the cannons. And we're going to see about if we're able to uh, fire some cannons there. Heroic work by the left flank here, still holding on, still firing, still putting up resistance. Ah, the stupid carbineers are still there. And they're messing with my um, form square. Um, they're messing with my cannon crews. We actually have. Well, I was about to say we actually have the one fatigued, sir, ready to uh, to join in the fight. But now uh, the Kraziers, they're down to 50 men. They're falling back. Um, those bloody Carbiniers. Now my cannon crews are retreating. The Carbiniers have taken so so many hits, but they're still fighting. Right, form into line and prepare to charge. Finally, the carbineers are forced back, and you can get back on the artillery. My hussars are back, and well, the general's bodyguard is still here. But since the general is dead, there's no point in holding these guys back, so charge them in. Now get those to get back on those guns and give me some bloody canister. Right. Move into lines and open fire on the enemy. Actually we're gonna have to stop you right there. And we're gonna have you God damn it. We're gonna have move you you're gonna move to the flank. And the grenadiers need to fire off the guns as soon as possible. Cannon crew up to the front. Infantry through the front. Right. I did not at all think that this was gonna go it, that it was gonna go down this way way. Okay, the general can pull back. So the as we can see here, the old guard completely just slaughtered my two infantry units behind the cannons. So somehow they were able to go through all that fire, all that canister shot and round shot, come through that and then still like put down an ace amount of um, bloody hurt on my men. Oh. It's a bit strange how when they come back from retreating, they go back into the last order they had and uh, start charging. Like it's as if that would be a good idea. Oh, look at that. That's the old guard. There's still a hundred men of them left. And they're still fighting. Not much longer though, since uh, the can is there is uh, breaking them at this point and seems to be breaking most of the enemy force even though it put I mean that 
just goes to show how strong the old guard is. Imagine if this wouldn't have been a bottleneck battle. Imagine if this was just just a normal line battle, I would say, or a normal field battle. It's probably more accurate. And uh, just uh, how devastating that would have been to have the old guard just march through everything just like they don't care and uh, come out the other side swinging. There's a lot of French people left here though, but uh, seemingly just as many Austrians. They did, they have moved up their artillery position, so it might be hard for us to actually cross. But as we can see, the general is watching over his entire army, having been defeated here. The best troops of France has been sent across. Um, I'm going to move my troops to the side here. And we do have these hussars, and we'll have them move down through the um, move down through the center and try to just go through all of this, and in that way end the battle. So there we go. The final infantry unit has been broken. We will silence the artillery, and the hussars will now pass. I think I told you to silence your guns. Did I not? Don't fire on my hussars. And we'll not charge until the hussars have uh, gone through the artillery so that we don't trample any of our own men. Unnecessary at this point. I guess the focal point for this unit will be the general and this one will be the cannon on the other side. And with the cavalry, we have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Being pushed across, I'm gonna have my infantry into column, pushing across. And now my cavalry, the hussars, as best that they can, try to get across and get the uh, enemy artillery. And looks like they're able to cross. We had one unit almost getting back on to the fight. But with the Hussars hot on their trail, they were forced to retreat. And it looks as though no other unit is about to rally. They're down to 30 men of uh, the old guard. The old guard chasseur, should be said. And where do we have just a normal... Old Guard, Grenadiers, we have the Marines, 91 Marines left. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the normal Guard unit is. Uh, Carabiniers, down to 34. Nine veterans, conscripts, veterans, veterans, infantry of the line. Oh, here they are. The Old Guard, there's 57 of them left. We'll have one Hussar going up through there, we'll have the other one get the last artillery piece. But there we have it, we were able to defeat the enemy, although at a heavy cost, since I probably lost at least a thousand men. And there's just an absolute massacre as the entire battlefield or well, the entire fight was just concentrated into this little area. And there's so many dead people in the stream as well. And there we have it. The battle was won. Now, given that there's so many troops that I need to ride down, I'll continue to fight on this battle a little bit just to ride down as many of these troops as possible. Um, but then we'll take a look at the statistics of this battle.
Victory was achieved, but at a pretty high cost. A thousand men could have gone a lot worse. Of course, the enemy, however, lost even more, since only 500 of their troops remain. Um, highest killer on our side was German Grenadier, so they, these were most likely the unit that held on my left side. Um, and they were able to even outdo the Hussars that were able to chase down enemies crossing. Um, then we can see that my artillery did surprisingly well compared to uh, previous battles where these guys actually inflict quite a bit of damage to uh, the, uh, the rough sum of say 600 casualties for all four artillery pieces. Unfortunately, Archduke Ferdinand Karl Joseph of Austria was killed during the battle and uh, well, I guess I have to recruit a new general, and uh, that's a bad mat for for that. Um, he wasn't that great of a general, was he? He's about four star. I think I've got a few generals already lined up with at least that amount of uh, of uh, skill. With that said, I think we're gonna go ahead and not wait, not actually end it right here because this. Yeah, and you know what? Let's just end it, because this is during the end turn. So there might happen more things during this, and I'm not entirely sure how long this battle took. But there we have it, the battle crossing. And hopefully, uh, we would have rid ourselves of... We have rid ourselves of the biggest threat right now to um, our Italian campaign. It's now about consolidating, be able to reinforce all of these troops so we can keep up the momentum and actually get into France. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to do that within the next episode. Um, with that, uh, I say as I always do, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!